Welcome to Techstars Farm to Fork Demo Day. I'm Sarah Bain, the Managing Director, and I'd like to thank you for joining us today to support these amazing companies. Our founders have come from all over the world to go through a 13-week whirlwind with the goal of taking their startup to the next level. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit more about Techstars, talk about Farm to Fork, and of course, I have a few thank yous to give. But from there, it's what you all came to see, the pitches. Techstars is a worldwide network that helps entrepreneurs succeed and the largest early stage investor in the world. Techstars helps startups accelerate by helping them do more faster with access to more than 10,000 entrepreneurs, experts, mentors, alumni, investors, community leaders, and corporate partners across the network. Over the past six years at Farm to Fork, we have 64 portfolio companies with 11 countries represented from founders from all over and a total market cap of 379 million. This intense 13 week program is broken into three phases. The first one we call Mentor Madness, where over a 12 day stretch, each team had 20 minute speed dates with over 90 mentors. They often get differing advice from one meeting to the next and by the end, their heads are spinning. But these meetings turn into valuable data points and introductions that can quickly advance their companies. By month two, we focus on acceleration and execution, where they leverage insights and expand the network to get more done than they ever thought possible. And within that third month, we then focus on pitching and fundraising, where we're refining strategies that founders will use to speak about their startup to partners, investors, and the world at large. Keep in mind that during the entire process, they're still running their business. So needless to say, things get busy, but throughout the accelerator, founders lean on the same mentors they met at the beginning to help guide them through it all. Our mentors have donated countless hours, an immense amount of advice, support, introduction to help startups succeed. So thank you. We all know that entrepreneurship is hard, but mentors are magic and they truly make Techstars unique. I would also like to thank HT and Jack Dempsey, our mentors and residents for the program. A big shout out to our associates, Aiden, Nick, and Elise. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. And a giant thank you to my team, Brett, Georgia, and Arthur. I'd also like to thank the Techstars Global Sponsors who take the time to meet with our companies and provide all sorts of love throughout the course of the program. And to our families. These entrepreneurs have worked crazy hours and because of this dedication, accomplish more for their business than they ever thought possible. So thank you to each and every entrepreneur's family member for your understanding and support and patience during this adventure. And last but not least, a giant thank you to our partner, Ecolab. Hello. My name is John Guttery. I am the head of enterprise initiatives with Ecolab. Welcome to the 2023 Farm to Fork Accelerator Demo Day. This is a capstone event of the program, and this is a celebration of the entrepreneurs that have studied with us, have been mentored by us, and are working on commercializing really exciting concepts that will be important to the future of the food system and to the environment. Good morning, good day, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Techstar Farm to Fork Accelerator Programs Demo Day event. My name is Sam Shu. I currently serve as Ecolab Strategy. Ecolab is a global sustainability leader, offering water, hygiene, and infection prevention solutions and services that protect people and the resource vital to life. Let's talk about the power of the exponential. We live in a fast-changing world with many global challenges. Individually, we may be able to solve the global challenges up to a certain level, but still with sizable gaps. Working together, we can enhance the chance of delivering bigger impact faster. That is the main reason Ecola has partnered with Techstar to roll out the Farm to Fork Accelerator program over the last six years. We want to engage the ecosystem for solving the global challenges and deliver sheer value creation. You can be a part of the positive impact driving force as well. Again, working together, we can build a better world. Let's take a look. The 12 cohort companies value impacts 
and congratulate them for their outstanding accomplishments. Hi, I'm H.T. Fish, one of the few people on the planet born in the state of Wyoming. The few relatives that claim me live between Denver and Billings. A number of them raise livestock, doing their bit to feed a hungry world. Among their biggest challenges is gaining access to customers who will pay them a great price for their products. They're not the only ones. In this gigantic, complex market dominated by multinationals, FarmShare helps producers improve their commercial ops, get better customers, and get better prices. In addition, they stay very close to their customers. They're fast learners, and they're quick to adjust. And maybe more important, they're great people. Here's Henry Arrowood, CEO of FarmShare, to tell you more. Pay attention, or you'll miss out on something special. Imagine a company told you that their go-to-market strategy was to set up a table at their local parking lot on every third Saturday from May to October. You probably think that's crazy. But for hundreds of thousands of American farmers and ranchers, farmers markets are their primary sales channel. And while farmers markets are cute and quaint for us buyers, they're a royal pain in the ass for sellers. Put yourself in their shoes. Imagine schlepping hundreds of pounds of beef in coolers to keep it cold, driving for hours into the city to sit at a booth all day just to be rained out. So it's no wonder that 93% of American farmers and ranchers choose not to sell direct to market. But for the 7% that do, despite the schlepping in the rain, they generate $11 billion in sales a year. And this segment is growing 35% year on year, and it's driven by increasing consumer demands for transparency, traceability, and connection to where their food is coming from. I'm Henry Arrowood. I'm the founder and CEO of FarmShare, and my team and I are connecting farms direct to market by building easy to use and convenient tech tools for independent food producers. We've built online sales channels for our customers, shipping and logistics technology that's optimized for selling perishable products, and AI marketing automation. FarmShare is the operating system empowering farmers and ranchers to sell direct to market and to take control of their business. See, traditional e-commerce was not optimized for large, heavy, perishable products, and so exorbitant shipping costs have served as a barrier to entry for most farmers and ranchers. But our platform saves customers 60% on shipping and packaging, and we leverage AI to automate email, and SMS on behalf of our customers. Finally, we have built online platforms that are optimized for buying meat, seafood, and produce directly from the source. Today, we empower farms all over the United States to sell direct to market. We save them cost, expand their customer base, and we set them up to capitalize on the growing consumer demand for transparency, traceability, and our food. Our logistics technology is even powering a pilot here in the Twin Cities, taking hundreds of local farms and connecting them with their thousands of local CSA customers, leveraging Uber for last mile delivery. Currently, we make money selling packaging and supplies, SaaS subscriptions, and we take transaction fees on our marketplace sales. And we are excited to expand our business vertically to support our customers from end to end from capital products like revenue-based financing and annual operating loans, to universal inventory and order management to support our farmers' customers from institutions to consumers. FarmShare will not only power the 7% that are selling direct to market today, but we will build an on-ramp for the 93% of American farmers and ranchers who sell into the industrial food supply chain. See, the average conventional farmer makes just 14 cents on the dollar, and their product changes hands seven times before it gets to market. We can change that. And in doing so, take an $11 billion industry today and transform it into $160 billion opportunity tomorrow. I want you to help take this $11 billion opportunity out of the parking lot and into the 21st century. Our technology will reshape the future of food. We will empower fair financials for our farmers, more responsible use of our land, and transparency in our global supply chains. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lauren Prathan, and I've been a mentor with the Techstars Farm to Fork program since it started in 2018. 
This year, I've had the privilege of being a lead mentor for Connected Fresh, and I'm so excited for the impact this company is going to have on the world. In the short time that we've worked together, I have been so impressed with this company's tenacity, commitment to results, their focus on customer success, and the traction that they've had with food service operators across the country. The sky's the limit for this company, and I know they're just getting started. With that, I'm thrilled to introduce Connected Fresh. Hey, is your refrigerator running? No, it's not. Imagine a restaurant's refrigerator going out a few hours before their busiest service on a Friday night. With our technology, we can prevent this from happening. I'm Jake Simon, co-founder and CEO of Connected Fresh, a technology platform that cuts through the day-to-day -day chaos in food service, preventing equipment issues, food safety and compliance incidents, and costly human errors. We are the best friend for food service operators and teams. We provide 24-7 monitoring and automated AI insights to identify and flag issues as soon as, or even before, they occur. And such issues often occur at the worst possible moments, like when teams are busy serving paying customers. Before Connected Fresh, my co-founder Tushar and I had been building smart factory solutions for some of America's largest manufacturers, alerting them to issues and risks before they became a problem. This experience allowed us to see this opportunity in food service. So we created Connected Fresh, where we're digitizing many previously manual or unobtainable data points, connecting the physical world to the digital one. We use off the shelf smart sensors that can be installed in just 15 minutes or less, allowing for extremely easy setup and long range in difficult places delivering battery life that's measured in many years, not months. But it's not these sensors themselves that are doing the heavy lifting. At its core, Connected Fresh is a software and analytics company that solves antiquated and often tedious labor tasks, operations challenges, and facilities inefficiencies. When an issue is detected, teams are alerted and can view details in their Connected Fresh dashboards. Role-based access control allows users to dive into the data from the organizational view to a location all the way down to an asset. Historical reports, real-time trends, and analytics are all in one place, giving access to critical data to make more informed decisions. And this data can have quite an impact. For example, take a quick service restaurant teams are often still using pen and paper to log cooler temperatures for food safety and compliance. For a single restaurant, this wastes over 900 employee hours every single year. And that's not even including additional training due to high turnover and human error. 900 hours per restaurant location, and that's just tracking temperature and operators often miss the early warning signs of aging equipment, but they're very easy to identify with the right information. Sure, that built-in fridge display shows a perfect 42 degrees, but that compressor can be way overworking to get to that point, driving up utility costs by up to 30% and signaling for help as the issue continues to get worse. A simple door sensor and power consumption monitor easily fill in the gaps of the story, giving time to fix the issue before it becomes a major problem. Connected Fresh technology is becoming more advanced by the day with its machine learning and predictive customer solutions. And we're growing our partnerships with risk and compliance software, maintenance and facility systems, and other food service technology partners to take the impact of this data even further. This will allow us to capture the extensive market of more than 400,000 multi-unit restaurants, 40,000 grocery stores, and 150,000 convenience stores, in addition to many other food retail opportunities. Our business model is simple, a recurring subscription and one-time hardware cost. We're able to provide our customers with the most advanced analytics-driven hardware agnostic and low cost operations and facilities monitoring across an organization, delivering scalable and impactful results 
with each customer relationship, allowing them to realize their ROI. One Chick-fil-A franchisee saved over $800 of spoilage within just the first 24 hours of being set up with our technology. At WKS restaurants, door sensors identified faulty hardware, preventing significant energy waste and food safety issues. And Village Supermarket saved tens of thousands of dollars in one incident alone by proving temperature logs to the USDA. These catches are just a few of the many ways we are enhancing labor productivity, cutting costs, and driving top line growth for our customers. Connected Fresh is not just a glimpse into the future. It's an effortless upgrade for today's food service establishments, leading the way towards a smarter, safer, and more profitable future for the industry. So the next time someone's asked, is your refrigerator running? I hope they have Connected Fresh because we can catch it. I love to eat. And like a lot of you, I enjoy the convenience of takeout and delivery food, probably a lot more than I should. However, at the end of the meal, I hate the guilt that I feel from all the wasteful packaging that usually comes with it. A couple of months ago, I was introduced to the gifted founders of UV Pack, and I'm convinced those guilty feelings are going to go away soon because you see, UV Pack is on a mission, a mission to replace single use plastics. Their technology uses 100% home compostable products made from upcycled clean organic waste. And they're making waves, waves that are being noticed by global 500 companies. So please welcome CEO and founder, Dr. Shafali Gupta, to tell you more about their journey. Here are two coffee cups. They cost the same to you, but not to the planet. Let's have a look how. Look at what happens to them over two weeks. And over four weeks, this regular cup is still around after six months and OV pack products are gone back to the nature. Did you know that the cups which we all use are not recyclable or compostable? Even if it say so, these cups are really harmful for the planet because there's no right bin for them. 98% of these cups ends up in landfill every year, leading to a huge amount of landfill pollution. And not just that, these cups contain thousands of microplastics that we eat every day as we sip our coffees. And these microplastics lead to serious diseases. And that's why we started UV Pack. Hi, I'm Dr. Shifali Gupta, co-founder and CEO of UV Pack. OV pack products are made from underutilized clean food byproducts. They're 100% home compostable and they break down naturally within three to four weeks after use. OV pack products are so environmentally friendly that you can discard any of our products in any bin or even in your garden and they return back to nature on their own and become healthy soil. And this brings a perfect circular economy into the picture. The beauty of OVPAC's patent pending material is it can be molded into any shape or size. So just imagine the possibilities out there. We make money by licensing our material to packaging manufacturers and by selling our products to food service companies. With OVPAC, we help our partners reduce their environmental impact and unlock a $100 billion market opportunity. After winning the Nespresso Start Cup Challenge in 2022, we are working alongside the world's biggest food service companies to collect feedback and further improve our products. And we are already in local stores in Australia. To these stores, we offer a comparable price to other sustainable alternatives. The Australian government recently banned single-time-use plastics like coffee cups and straws and recognized OV Pack as one of the packaging solutions to other sustainable products. With my 10 years of research experience as a scientist and my co-founder Andy, who is an engineer, we have what it takes to make this happen. We are working alongside a passionate team of scientists, engineers and business advisors working really hard to bring Uvi back to life. And we together are on a mission to replace 30% of world's single-use plastics 
with OVPAC by 2030. We believe that in the coming future, we will all see a transition to more circular, sustainable and microplastic free products inspired by nature and designed for nature, just like OVPAC. So, here are the two cups. I showed you at the beginning. Why would you choose other paper products when we already have OV pack? Thank you. Many of us love when we get to eat a delicious meal that features an animal protein like chicken, but seldom do we consider the significant skills it took that livestock farmer to raise that chicken or the oftentimes cost prohibitive startup costs they face to participate in that market. Michael and his team intimately understand that pain point and then built a truly novel business model and service that helps emerging market livestock farmers participate in a multi-billion dollar livestock economy previously dominated by foreign imports. It has been a true honor to have the ability to mentor this team and watch them quickly iterate week over week. This business will revolutionize the way in which livestock farming is performed. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Ruby Labs. Meet Amina, a mother of four. She makes a living as a chicken farmer in the remote town of Mubi, Nigeria. She lives 68 miles away from the nearest veterinarian. One fateful morning, she woke up to a silence on her farm. Her entire flock is gone, claimed by a preventable disease. Her heart sank, thinking of her children and the livelihood that just vanished overnight. Amina is not alone. This is a tragic occurrence that happens far too often for the over 50 million livestock farmers in Africa. Each year, 25% of animals are lost to diseases, worsened by distances, inventory shortages, and distribution delays. But what if all of this could be prevented? Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Iyanru. I am the founder and CEO of Ruby Labs Vet. I know firsthand the reality of raising livestock in Africa. I come from a family of farmers and I have worked with many farmers in Nigeria and beyond. Across every farm, I saw farmers struggling to access basic livestock supply. This is why I created Ruby Labs Vet. At Ruby Labs Vet, we streamline access to vaccines, farm inputs, and embedded financial services for the over 50 million livestock farmers in Africa. Our operation is simple. We walk through a network of micro-fulfillment centers where we gather inventory data from manufacturers. Farmers can easily order for products like vaccines, feeds, and supplements through our platform, such as WhatsApp and SMS channels. We use our motorcycles and collaborate with third-party logistics to deliver directly to the farmers' locations. We also provide loans to farmers to help them unlock more potential to scale. Here at Rubilas Vet, we make money by taking 20% margin on products sold and up to 5% commission on loans that we give to farmers. To date, we have impacted over 26,000 farmers. We have moved over 1 million inputs with an average of 95% satisfaction rate while generating over $2.8 million in gross revenue. Farmers in Africa has always been a cornerstone of its economy. Yet, many potential farmers remain untapped due to the challenges they face. With Rubila's vet, countless more could join the agricultural sector and thrive. We are scaling fast in Nigeria and we're looking to move into countries throughout Africa. But beyond these numbers and operations lies a bigger vision. A vision to transform the agricultural fabric of Africa, where every farmer, no matter where they are, 
or how big their farm is can succeed. None of this would be possible without my team and the passion we share for helping African farmers. I am a doctor with background in animal agriculture and social development. With me on this journey is our CTO, Abigail, who has a background in computer science and AI. Our COO, Rejoice, has experience in operations and business management. With Rubila's vets, farmers like Amina do not have to lose their livestock and livelihood to preventable diseases. Join us on this journey and make Ruby Labs Vet a household name across Africa and the emerging market. Thank you very much. Hi everyone. One of the most critical challenges facing business and society today is biodiversity loss. Since 1970, there's been a huge drop of population of animals, somewhere around 70% across the world. At the same time, the huge economic advantages of biodiversity are becoming clear to businesses, society, and governments. According to the World Economic Forum, biodiversity is linked to half of the world's GDP. Arguably, the first part of solving any big problem like biodiversity loss is good measurement. Therefore, I'm pleased to introduce Jantian, backed by a brilliant team of ecologists and technologists. Their technology is using remote sensing and artificial intelligence to monitor habitats with the and has a lot of potential to make difference in helping organizations understand their impact on nature. It's been a pleasure of mine to be part of their journey as part of the Techstars program. Without further ado, I'm pleased to introduce their CEO, Dan White, who can tell you a lot more about this fascinating and exciting company. Thank you. Society, business, and finance depend on nature's assets and the services they provide. Functions like trees cleaning the air, insects pollinating flowers to grow crops, and green spaces in urban environments absorbing excess stormwater are all taken for granted. The acceleration of nature loss globally is now putting our very existence at risk. At risk. Taking action to conserve and restore nature is now a critical global priority. Doing so will reduce risks to business and economic health. So governments and businesses are rapidly deploying new policies and regulations to stop the loss of nature, with some policies having a global reach. One example is the Task Force for Nature-Related Financial Disclosure, or TNFD. It's a voluntary and annual reporting tool through which hundreds of the world's largest companies must now report on nature annually. This means their business practices, their supply chains, and even their land assets are under increased scrutiny. But it's designed to help auditing for responsible lending, to identify nature-based risks and opportunities, and to build in long-term resilience. So, while the action is clear, or the case for action is clear, organizations do not have the information they need to make decisions about nature. Because of this, measurement of nature is extremely important, or to put this another way, we can't improve what we don't measure. I'm Dan White, I'm the CEO at Gentian. We are a tool that uses a combination of AI, machine learning, and computer vision to measure nature. Think of the power of facial recognition from Earth observation. Currently, the fastest way businesses are measuring nature is by sending individuals to every site in person to manually collect data. Just last month, we were contacted by a farmer who had recently completed a manual survey of 100 acres of land in the UK. The whole process took 12 months to complete. Gentian took the same piece of work and finished it in 24 hours, and he was extremely pleased with the level of precision. At Gentian, we are on a mission to revolutionize society's re relationship with nature through the creation of real-time insights and new data. This means governments and businesses can include nature and the enormous value it provides into their monitoring, reporting, and verification processes. So we begin by sourcing high-resolution imagery 
from either aerial photographs or satellites. And then we apply our com proprietary computer AI, computer vision AI, to these images to provide fast, cheap, and precise nature insights. So conventional approaches to AI normally use what's called pixel reflectance, where they're attributing a color to a feature on the image. Our deep learning approach sees the color, but also shape, texture, and also contrast, which brings in the deep learning element. A second area of differentiation is our use of high resolution imagery. We've built Gentian to analyze and use the most precise data available. Other systems cannot differentiate between different types of grasslands, for example. They lump them all into one class when there are many. We're also built for automation so that a customer can drop in a location and we provide the report in under 24 hours. And as you can see, machine learning is doing a lot of work in the background, tasking satellites, processing images, and checking outputs. So although our services are applicable to many environmental challenges, we're focusing on three main customer segments. Number one, large corporations riding the wave of TNFD. Number two, cities and municipalities looking to improve urban resilience in a changing climate. And three, are businesses who are directly impacted by changing regulations like farming, property developers, or oil and gas. We charge our customers through a monthly subscription. And to date, we've had over 20 customers and hit over $150,000 uh, $50, worth of revenue. This is a nascent $80 billion industry that's growing rapidly. We'll deploy into the North American and Asian markets this year, building more product features and capturing more data to expand our offering to more customer segments. We began as a solution to map green roofs in cities. We soon, however, found our unique methods had applicability on a much bigger scale on the ground. We have a world-class team that's joined the mission, ranging from space tech engineers to renowned Cambridge University academics and so much more. I'm very lucky to have such an amazing team around me. So, the nature that surrounds us and brings us so much joy now, off now offers us huge value and is perhaps the most scalable means of commercial resilience, even perhaps our biggest chance of survival on this spinning rock in the galaxy. Measuring nature is essential to these outcomes and Gentian is supremely positioned to help move this transformation along quickly. Thank you. New product development is inherently messy, uncertain, and ambiguous. And that's when it's working well. Hi, I'm Garrick Van Buren. I've seen this firsthand helping food and tech companies around the globe start dozens of new products. Our next presenter is helping food manufacturers of all sizes find clarity, ease, and comfort in an unexpected place. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Pratna Gupta, CEO, Order Smart. Hi, I'm PG. Whoops, wait. Sorry. Can we record that again? Thank you. Hi, I'm Pratna Gupta, the CEO and co-founder of Order Smart, and you just gave me a second chance at creating a first impression. But in the world of B2B manufacturing, you only get one shot. Every purchase decision, whether it's case, pallet, truck, or container load, starts at a first impression. And for these manufacturers, these are their product samples. Let's meet Adam, the VP of sales at a mid-market food manufacturer. Adam just went to a trade show where he met 2,000 potential customers asking for product samples. How exciting, right? Wrong. To Adam and his team, this is thousands of email threads, Excel sheets, paperwork, and at least 10 hours a week taken away from their effort to meet their monthly sales quota. Yes. Even in 2023, the product sampling process is archaic and burdensome. 90% of sales efforts do not convert for these manufacturers, and a ruined first impression is a massive contributor. Those samples I showed you earlier, these are still the primary and often only sales channel being used. At Order Smart, we are digitizing the most traditional and widely used sales channel in the world physical product samples. Over the past few months, our team has spoken with manufacturers across the country. We've heard from small players all the way to enterprise companies that the product sampling process is a bottleneck to their growth. And we have listened. I'm excited to share that we have a signed pilot 
with a beverage manufacturer that serves a leading hotel chain nationwide, and many more conversations in the pipeline. Manufacturers pay us a subscription fee based on the size of their catalog. As the catalog size increases, so does our fee. Our cake processes are not new to us. Our team comes armed with experience digitizing supplier catalogs and operations. Shubham, our CTO, has done this on his father's factory floors, and I have built technology for over 500 suppliers at Wayfair. We know that simplicity and ease is critical to driving adoption. The OrderSmart software seamlessly integrates across operating channels, enabling the physical and digital world to coexist. We automate manual tasks, such as sharing product information, managing logistics, and asking for feedback on samples. With every task automated, we increase the potential of conversion. Here's the game changer though, the natural network effect the platform has. As a manufacturer uses OrderSmart to receive samples from a vendor or send samples to a customer, each of these vendors and customers become order smart customers. We are not just changing the first impression of a single business, but that of the entire ecosystem around it. This strategy enables us to unlock fast paced growth in a market worth over $20 billion. And that's just for manufacturers alone. OrderSmart is enabling B2B manufacturers across industries to make better first impressions. We are starting with the most complex and largest segment of the market, the food supply chain. But whether it's a sample of a flavor that goes into a protein bar or the new product that's going to be at every Sephora, every purchase decision starts at a first impression. And with OrderSmart, product sampling is a predictable opportunity that drives revenue. Thank you, and please reach out to learn more. Or let me know whether you remember me as PG or Pratna. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Forsyth, co-founder and CEO at Milk Movement. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing Hunter Kraft, the founder and CEO at Puebla. Over the last few months of the Techstars Farm to Fork program, I've had the opportunity to mentor Hunter and have seen firsthand the remarkable growth and traction he's building at his company. The opportunity in the market is very exciting to me, as I know it's a pressing need that needs to be solved. Over to you, Hunter. This is WhatsApp. You know, that platform your friends on Android try to get you to use, so they can avoid the shame of the green text bubble. In all seriousness, WhatsApp is a behemoth, with 2.7 billion users, including 50 million businesses. It gained traction as a cheaper alternative to SMS, but the problem is, it's not optimized for many of its current use cases in business. Take agricultural supply chains, for example. 70% of global farmers rely on WhatsApp to gather agricultural information and connect with experts. The truth is, it's being used as a workaround tool by a sector already burdened by inefficiency from antiquated tools and uncoordinated logistics that cost up to a third of export value every year. I'm Hunter Kraft, founder and CEO of Puebla. I've seen this firsthand. I spent a decade sourcing coffee for brands like Folgers and Kraft Heinz. In Colombia alone, 28 of the 30 largest coffee exporters and cooperatives utilize WhatsApp as a key tool for procurement. That means nearly $3 billion of coffee is being negotiated with emojis. That may sound fun, but it comes at a cost since most of this usage is on employee personal devices, which exposes businesses to risks in data security, time inefficiency, and poor visibility that can cost millions every year. Don't believe me? Take Canada, for example. A judge just ruled that the thumbs-up emoji can represent a legally binding contract. That's where Puebla steps in. We see this as a huge opportunity to revolutionize agricultural supply chains. But we're not trying to disrupt WhatsApp, at least for now. Instead, we meet the industry where it is and help agribusinesses formalize by creating a global business and communication hub for the industry. We help agribusinesses leapfrog from makeshift solutions to real-time frictionless collaboration. Here's how it works. Invite your contacts. 
Use our seamless contracting process that directly integrates with WhatsApp and utilize our file manager to store end-to-end -end documentation and export directly to your ERP. We believe the results speak for themselves. Our solution offers a 100x improvement in transaction speed and delivers a 12% increase in profitability for suppliers by providing real-time markets and decision-making analytics. Enterprise buyers can expect to gain up to a million dollars a year in efficiency gains. To date, we've signed three LOIs with coffee exporters, including one top five player that exports over a billion dollars annually. These three LOIs represent $50,000 in ARR. Currently, we charge a subscription for transaction management, which unlocks an even bigger opportunity in fintech, traceability, and logistics, where we can charge a percentage of revenue and the opportunity starts to get even more exciting. Our vision encompasses 12 different products across high-value agriculture, such as cocoa, citrus, and vanilla, a $30 billion software market with 115,000 prospective customers. In five years, we will be in five different supply chains, processing $3 billion in GMV and generating nearly $50 million in revenue. Behind this vision is a global team with nearly 40 years of experience across food supply chain and te technology. With still no vertical SaaS leader in our space, Puebla's advantage is simple. We own the transaction, and by doing so, we own the traceability. While there are many traceability solutions, they all lack a strong business case. We capture the traceability information as a byproduct of our core business, while also helping our customers improve their bottom lines. Thank you for your time and attention, and we invite you to join us on our journey to revolutionize agricultural supply chains, one WhatsApp message at a time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave Kassam, Head of Partner Development at Techstars. Over the last 10 years or so, I've had a chance to mentor hundreds of founders through Techstars. And during that time, I still have not been able to develop the ability to spot a winning business model this early. But I have been able to spot winning founders. And the commonalities I see with winning founders are they always possess the confidence to face adversity, the power to run through walls, and yet also have the humility to take in new information and learn. And that's why I'm so excited to introduce to you Dean Alik, the CEO of XBlock. She so strongly possessed this balance. In my first meeting with her, I walked out and said to somebody, I would absolutely bet on her. It has been a true honor to work with Dina and her team throughout this program. And now you get to hear all about XBlock. Take it away, Dina. Let's play telephone. XBlock is an AI assistant. XBlock needs some assistance. He needs assistance with his Xbox. The Xbox won't turn on. Hey, do you have a few extra bucks? Extra bucks for an Xbox? He needs bucks to fix his Xbox. Fun game, right? Well, this fun game costs the hospitality industry $74 billion every year in the U.S. alone. A combination of complex workflows and information sharing across diverse teams is integral in the hospitality sector. Information sharing here is frequently verbal between the chef and the wait staff, or the concierge and the guest. It's also baked into everything from PDFs, call logs, and text stacks to email, POS, and reservation systems. Collectively, this information can offer invaluable insight into guest preferences and the business. Yet, trying to get a full picture view across data sources can take weeks, be cost prohibitive or near impossible. Meanwhile, you need the information on demand to make smart decisions now. I'm Dina Nick, the CEO of XBlock. With our CTO, Cyrus, I've co-founded five startups with three exits over the past 21 years between Iran and the United States. We've worked in various sectors of hospitality tech and bring expertise in software, machine learning, and generative AI, technologies that form the backbone of XBlock. The XBlock AI Assistant 
unlocks the hidden value in the data that restaurants and hotels already have today. We integrate technology stacks, internal documents, and transcripts of verbal conversations into one unified voice activated system. For general managers, accessing essential financial reports, delegating tasks automatically, and receiving daily summaries is just one voice command away. For employees, a simple voice command can generate instant answers to pressing questions and easy access to self-paced training. In an industry with an ever-changing workforce that needs ongoing training, Xblock eliminates the need to dig through papers and dashboards or play the game of telephone. Instead, we empower employees with real-time access to, single, to a single source of truth. We are not just envisioning change, we are driving it. Today, I'm excited to announce two paid pilots with restaurant groups to cut managerial costs and reduce onboarding times by 50%. We offer a subscription that scales with our clients' business, tailored for hotel management groups and multi-unit restaurant brands. Hospitality alone is a $4 trillion market and just capturing 1% of the industry unlocks a massive opportunity. Indeed, the telephone game isn't unique to hotels and restaurants. Xblog aims to expand into entertainment, retail, and mixed-use developments, unlocking significant growth. But beyond that, Xblog's mission is empowering millions in customer-facing industries to make informed decisions reducing job-related stress, fostering well-being, and creating a healthier, more dynamic work environment for all. We are beyond excited by the market's response to XFLOG. We would be delighted if you would join us in our journey to empower the hospitality workforce and deliver more five-star experiences. Thank you. Hi, I'm Meredith England, and I'm the CEO of Camperoni. As a former Fortune 500 sustainability executive, and more importantly, as a mom of two, sustainability is really important to me. Unfortunately, energy-related CO2 emissions continue to rise year over year, and the world is currently on track to surpass 1.5 degrees Celsius in warming in the next 10 years, despite that being a critical tipping point for the Earth. That's why companies need to act now to reduce their energy use and transition to renewables. And we're starting to see some really exciting innovation in this space and funding around that innovation. That's why I'm very excited to introduce you to Stefano from Be Chained. Since summer 2021, the electricity market prices have tripled, while the natural gas prices have quadrupled. As prices become more and more volatile, so does the market, leading to manufacturers, whether metal, food, or paper, having zero control over their cost. Let me provide a real example. A steel plant in Spain we used to spend $1 million per month on energy. Their production system was poorly digitized and didn't control the energy consumption. So, they have no way to reduce the energy cost and thus no way to cut the carbon offset spent. I'm Stefano, founder and CEO of BJ. Our solution makes manufacturing processes more energy efficient. Our artificial intelligent technology, integrated into the existing customer facilities, identify the optimal setting of the machine in the production line and executes the improvement automatically. By doing this, we reduce our customer energy spent while cutting the carbon offset cost. The steel plant that I mentioned earlier now works with Beaching. We help them save $300,000 per year from wasted energy, and this means that for every dollar spent on B-Chain, our customer save $4. We reduce 19% the energy consumption 
and we help our customer avoid 900 tons of CO2 emissions. Since we handle ancillary processes like water management, air conditioning, or more, we also don't pose a risk to the day-to-day -day operations. Because of those outcomes, the steel plant has committed to doubling the current scope of the project and they are excited to roll the chain out in two new plants, one in Spain and the other in the US. We make money through a subscription, a setup fee, and a value add, where we earn a percentage from the customer savings. Our go-to-market is very simple. We start by selling to manufacturers and facility managers. But we also see the path to scale selling through enterprises who create added value to their customers. We are a team with more than 45 years experience in the energy tech space, and we are on a mission to revolutionize the energy efficiency in manufacturing using artificial intelligence. So join us if you feel the same urgency to avoid 65 million tons of CO2 emissions per year from wasted energy by 2040. Thank you so much. It is my great pleasure to introduce Megan, a serial entrepreneur, and her latest company, Population. Population is a unique restaurant tech company that combines the thoroughness of their work and the agility of their work. They have the patience to develop in-depth understanding of the pain points of restaurant operators, peel the obvious to uncover the systematic problem of the current practice in terms of operational efficiency problems, and successfully combine that with their expertise in both physical science and AI to quickly develop the right solution for the problem. Please welcome Megan and Population. Hi, I'm Megan Groves, CEO and founder of Population. I'm a serial founder with two exits and deep experience commercializing new technology. When I started Population, my goal was to prevent the spread of sickness and promote better health and safety in commercial environments. We won patents, innovation awards, and paying customers, and became experts in food safety along the journey. However, after months of customer discovery, we recognized that the health problem was embedded inside a much larger operational problem. There was simply no way to ensure food safety or improve team health and performance without first looking to day-to-day -day operations. With labor turnover topping 100% each year, these operations stay unreliable at best. As in any industry, managers need to set up their teams for success, minimize risk, and hit often aggressive sales targets. But unlike other industries, these managers are missing the right technology. Today, food service data is scattered across traditional software and builds a very blurry picture of operations. Population changes this paradigm. Our vision technology adds a missing information set that helps store managers quickly understand where frontline teams are failing. In the past 12 weeks, we conducted over 100 customer discovery conversations, and here's just one example of what we heard. At a local quick service restaurant, Alex's team is often understaffed and struggles to keep up with incoming orders. To compensate for this, they try to get ahead by prepping for the next rush. But these good intentions unfortunately often lead to waste and loss. And when rush hour does hit, the team often forgets the basics, cleaning down equipment to prevent cross-contamination, and wiping down tables, which sends a poor signal to guests. These cycles happen almost every day. They're wasteful, they're expensive, and they put both the customer health and the company brand at risk. Population can help prevent these issues. Here's how it works. First, we access video stream data from a restaurant's existing on-site cameras and apply our patent-pending AI to observe and learn. Then we take timestamp data from the traditional food service software stack to contextualize our video streams. Finally, we use an easy conversational interface to deliver insights. Our technology passively catches and analyzes hundreds of key performance indicators, organizing them into four critical categories. Guest experience to build a strong brand that keeps customers coming back. Food safety to provide consistently high quality food for dine-in or delivery. Labor ops to improve team health and performance. And food waste to right size food preparation. Store managers don't have the time and expertise to sit behind dashboards and analyze data all day. So our solution handles the problem solving for them. And we put the insights front and center with an easy GPT style semantic search. 
We charge a monthly subscription and can help a store that does $2 million a year in sales recuperate at least 3% in profit. And if we can reduce the risk of an outbreak or move the needle on food waste, well, those savings all become upside. The ROI is clear and the market is massive. The restaurant industry alone accounts for 4% of the United States economy, but loses billions on these problems. Our initial market consists of over 1 million locations in the U.S. alone, representing over half a billion dollars in opportunity. We're currently in discussions with 16 multi-unit restaurants, which alone represent over $1 million in revenue by the end of next year, and we're thrilled to announce we've just closed our first LOI. Our vision is to dramatically improve performance and help these businesses stay profitable with the best technology available. And we're doing it with the best team available. Our CTO is a computer vision expert and two-time startup CTO. Our CFO brings years of venture capital investing in computer vision and AI, and our advisors come from organizations like the CDC and brands like Chick-fil-A and Sweetgreen. Together, we're building the AI for high-performing food service brands. Join us in our mission. Please reach out to learn more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Matt Pasiga, and it's a pleasure to introduce you to Eddie, the CEO of Goodie Bag. As their lead mentor, I've worked closely with him over the past few months and seen their business evolve. In a short time, Eddie has already made great strides. He has forged partnerships with new stores, new stores in Fort Collins and continues to win over customers with the convenience and value of goodie bags. Most impressively, they've done this while remaining laser focused on their social and environmental goals. And as their mentor, I've been impressed with Eddie's passion, grit, and capacity to learn and he's absorbed the feedback and continuously has refined the strategy. It's been amazing to see him achieve a lot of milestones during the program. Mentoring him and the team has been a true privilege, and I'm excited to see their business grow. Take it away, Eddie. Hi, I'm Eddie Connors, co-founder and CEO of Goodie Bag. After years of hands-on experiential research, we uncovered a groundbreaking truth. College students are broke. And between rent, tuition, textbooks, Wi-Fi, gas, food is often left out of the budget, creating a reality where one in every three students are food insecure here in the United States. At the same time, 40 billion pounds of food are wasted every year by retail shops alone making food waste the number one material in our landfills. So we are wasting food while people need it and our planet is dying. This is why we created Goodie Bag. Instead of trashing perfectly good unsold food, our two-sided marketplace connects it to customers at a discounted price for pickup. With Goodie Bag, everybody wins. Customers receive quality food for at least half the price. Shops salvage revenue on otherwise sunk costs and collectively we reduce food waste and contribute to a healthier planet. The process is simple. Shops access our web-based platform on any device with internet. And with the click of a button, list their surplus as a mystery goodie bag. Our customers are then notified on their phone and can reserve the goodie bag by making an in-app purchase, which they then physically pick up from the shop at the time specified. We make money by collecting a 33% commission on every purchase. Our typical goodie bag is $6. Therefore, we take two and the shop salvages four. This B2C surplus food marketplace model has already been validated at scale in over 17 countries. But not until 2019 did this $5 billion market emerge here in the United States. And today, it remains over 90% untapped. While there are a few players in the space, they are severely overlooking and underserving college markets. By forming strategic partnerships with universities, running localized social media campaigns, and having brand ambassadors on the ground to carry out our guerrilla style marketing, we will carve out our niche and create our impact. And we have, beginning January 2023, when we launched our MVP in Boulder, Colorado with the local pizzeria. We have since partnered with 30 plus shops, selling over 2,200 goodie bags to more than 660 unique consumers. And I'm stoked to share that this August, we released our scalable mobile application and in September struck an official contract with the University of Colorado Boulder 
and launched our second market in Fort Collins, Colorado. We are taking Goodie Bag to the 700 untapped college markets across this country, creating a foundation for us to then expand throughout the entire United States. As two recent college grads and a college professor, our team is uniquely positioned to service our target market. We are aligned on our mission and ready to execute. So I ask you to join us and help create a more well-fed and sustainable world, one goodie bag at a time. Thank you. AI-enabled tools has become a hot space in startups over the past year. However, few are led by founders passionate about solving a major problem in an industry hit hardest by the pandemic. I've had the pleasure of working with the innovative team at Tavolo over the past few months. Look forward to continuing to work with them into the future. It is now my honor to introduce their CEO, Taryn Hall. When I was growing up, I also poured my uncle's restaurant with everything that encompassed marketing. Our only hope to drive traffic and generate repeat customers was a teenager with his MacBook Air. I was helping run all the email campaigns, text campaigns, social media campaigns, and ads for my family business. And my primary goal was to help generate repeat customers. Even if a customer has a perfect experience at a restaurant, there's only a 40% chance that they're going to come back for a second visit. And if they come back for a second visit, it's only a 42% chance that they'll come back for a third. But once they've come back for that third visit, you've got yourself a lifelong customer. Even a 5% increase in repeat monthly customers can raise profitability up to 95%. When it comes to marketing, restaurant operators have three options. Hire a big, expensive marketing agency. Learn how to do everything yourself. Or you could just make a little nephew do it like my uncle did. Well, not anymore. I'm Taryn. I'm the founder and CEO at Tavolo. Tavolo is an AI-driven content creation and automated marketing platform for restaurants that helps drive revenue. Tavolo tracks macro trends across the restaurant industry and aggregates data across a restaurant's tech stack to understand customers and auto-generates marketing campaigns through text, email, and videos based on real customer insights. Let me show you how it works. A local owner in the Twin Cities, MJ, onboarded his restaurant at Tavolo in January of this year. Within the first week of him joining the platform, Tavolo understood that his new buffalo chicken fries were selling poorly due to a lack of incentive for people to try the product. Tavolo auto-generated a marketing campaign for a BOGO deal and pushed it out over a weekend directly to his customers. MJ saw an over 50% lift in the revenue of that product in just three days, and 78% of those sales or from repeat customers. And now with Tavlo's help, that same product is a top three selling menu item for him. And he's not the only one. The average Tavlo customer is seeing a minimum 3x return on investment after joining the platform and then over 50% increase in repeat monthly customers. Our software has already impacted operators across the country in cities like Fargo, the Twin Cities, Chicago, and New York. We tailor our software from small mom and pops all the way to corporate franchises that are looking to deploy Tavolo at scale. We work with three types of food service providers, locally owned single unit restaurant operators, which we onboard through self signup, multi-unit owners and operators and subsidized organizational contracts, which we onboard through direct sales and corporate franchises, where our software enables businesses to automate marketing on a local level across franchisees. With these providers, we're able to unlock all 700,000 restaurants in the U.S. as our potential customers. We're backed by the Food Foundry, which is in partnership with Gordon Food Service, one of the largest food distribution companies in North America. And with our existing partnerships with local organizations across the U.S., we have unprecedented access to hundreds of thousands of these restaurants. We've deployed a high converting vertical video content strategy, which has enabled us to grow over 67% in customers since joining Techstars and generate millions of impressions. And we're leveraging that existing scale to build new content verticals. Our current customer base represents over $6 billion in potential annual recurring revenue, but we're looking beyond just restaurants. 
branching out to the entirety of the hospitality industry alone, introduces an over $10 billion opportunity in potential annual recurring revenue. Tavola will revolutionize marketing across industries, enabling us to become the premier generative AI marketing platform in the world. My co-founders, Abdi Sal and I built this company to help support our family businesses. Combined, we have decades of experience working in hospitality, marketing, and content creation. We're a hungry team, pun intended, that's looking to reshape the restaurant industry. We're Tavolo. And if you're excited about the challenges that we're tackling, get in touch with us today.